takes the cake here with an eye-watering compensation of 1.2 million. Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at which companies offer the highest pay for software engineers. All the information in this video is pulled from the levels.fii's end of the year pay report for 2021. Kudos to them for putting this together, let's get right into it. Starting with entry-level positions, this is anywhere from new grad to about two to three years of experience. We have Netflix coming in at number five. Netflix actually only used to hire senior software engineers up until pre recently. Glad to see that they've changed that. Stripe comes in at number four. They're an online payments processing company that has been crushing it lately. They're actually rumored to IPO this year and it might be the highest valuation IPO of all time. We have Roblox at number three. Roblox is an online game slash world platform where users can make their own games and you can play games made by other users as well. Box comes in at number two. They're in the very competitive cloud storage and management business along with Google Drive and Dropbox. But I believe they focus mainly on enterprise customers. And at number one, we have Two Sigma, which is actually a hedge fund. Now you might be surprised to see a hedge fund at the top of this list, but over 50% of Two Sigma's employees are engineers. All right, before we move on to the next level, I actually wanna make a small clarification here that the numbers we're talking about isn't all base pay. It's typically a split between base salary, stock, and bonus. At lower levels, it's probably close to a 70, 20, 10 split. As you go higher up the ladder, more of your compensation is made up of stock, so it'll be closer to a 30, 60, 10 split. All right, let's move on to the mid-level software engineer position. This is typically anywhere from two to five years of experience. For this level, we see Box coming in again at number five, followed by Lyft at number four. Lyft actually has about 30% of the US ride sharing market with Uber basically taking up the rest. Also from the gig economy industry, we have Instacart at number three. Instacart is a grocery delivery service and they're also rumored to IPO this year. And at number two, we have Cruise Automation, which is an autonomous driving startup that was bought by GM in 2016. Compared to Tesla's full self-driving, which uses cameras, I believe they actually use LiDAR sensors. And there's a debate between which approach will actually win out in the end, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And at number one, we see Roblox again, showing that they're willing to pay really well to retain top talent. And now we're at the senior engineer level, which requires at least five years of experience, but could contain engineers all the way up to 20 years of experience. At number five, we have ByteDance, which is the parent company of TikTok. It makes sense they're paying engineers really well to work on their world-class content recommendation engine. Coming in at number four, we have Robinhood. They IPO'd last year, but their stock hasn't been doing so well given recent market conditions. Nonetheless, they played a huge role in reshaping the brokerage industry. At number three, we have Pinterest. Pinterest is competing with some heavyweights in the social media and advertising business, but their key differentiators are their unique demographic and use cases. Stripe makes another appearance at the number two spot in the senior engineer level. And in the number one spot, we have Netflix. Not only is Netflix offering the highest pay for the senior level, they actually let their engineers choose the compensation split. Engineers can actually opt to get 100% of their pay in cash, 100% of it in stock, or any split in between. All right, there are two more levels above this, but they account for a pretty small percentage of engineers. So I'll just breeze through these in the interest of time. We have the staff engineer level. This role typically requires at least 10 years of experience, but more importantly, you'll need to be making impact at the org level so not just your team but making decisions and setting the vision for the entire organization and here are the top five companies at the staff engineer level LinkedIn grabs the top spot at this level they were acquired by Microsoft in 2016 and they've been steadily growing and expanding into ventures like LinkedIn learning and finally we have the principal engineer level this is a very difficult level to get to at this level you could be setting the vision and making decisions that impact the whole company or at least a very big org and here are the five highest paying companies for the principal level. Roblox takes the cake here with an eye-watering compensation of $1.2 million for their principal engineers. What makes these figures even more incredible is that all the numbers we've looked at are the median salary at a given company for a given level. So 50% of the employees at that level at that company are making more than the numbers we're looking at. Even though this whole video is about compensation, I want to add a disclaimer here to say that you shouldn't just pick the company you want to work for based on the pay. While compensation is an important factor, you should also consider the people you're going to be working with, the project you're on, the growth opportunities, and even location. So this is by no means a list of the best companies to work for. With all that said, I hope the information in this video acts as a useful tool for you when you're navigating career decisions or negotiating salaries. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.